At 8 o'clock, we have breaking news in the fight against COVID-19. Preliminary lab tests show Pfizer's experimental COVID-19 pill is 89% effective at reducing the risk of hospitalization and death. And perhaps more importantly, the tests show the pill could work against the Omicron variant. The positive results come as the FDA reviews whether to clear... It seemed to get worse and worse with every update. In Bell's court statement this morning, he spoke to how Julia Tomlin initially said she put Noah to bed and when she woke up, he was gone. Well, then she changed her story, saying she was high on heroin and left Noah in the bathtub where he drowned. She told officials she called her friend Tim to help dispose the body and clean up the home. However, Bell says even that story isn't the truth, as the autopsy results revealed Noah died from blunt force trauma and battered child syndrome. Bell said his body was beat up so bad, it was like he fell off a multi-story building. I asked Bell if this guilty plea was closure in the case. I don't know if I can really say there will be complete closure because you're talking about a two year old who was taken away from someone who was supposed to be their protector and instead of, they were their predator. And so uh, I, I don't really call this case justice. I would call it accountability because justice to me puts you back into the same place you were prior to the incident or to the crime. And I don't think you could ever be put back into that situation because this community mourned and is still mourning the loss of Noah. Now, her sentencing is scheduled for March 18th of next year, and Bell says he will be pushing for the full time in jail, which is about 55 years when you